we are facing such a strong attack on the media. What I was calling for is for all media practitioners to make sure that we protect their online freedom and the freedom of expression. And let's protect the whistleblowers, whether online or offline, to make sure that we, we keep that uh, only gift that we only have remained with, the, only, uh, the freedom of expression, so that it is preserved by the government and uh, by whomever has powers it. We understand that this is very tightly linked to the cybercrime law, which last year, when it was under consideration and finally passed, we're very much in the forefront, especially through social media, to create awareness about the pitfalls and to try to pressure that some of the articles be removed, including some of the articles that unfortunately we're now seeing is being put into action and is causing uh, people like Maxence to be detained. One of the reasons we're so concerned was that it gave uh, the power for uh, forces, including the police force, to be able to go and to um, take or confiscate devices, to be able to search without search warrants. Now we understand that there's been some review of the law, but that is not enough. The other thing that we foresaw and unfortunately we see it's happening is that anybody can report this and it can be it immediately becomes a crime. That is one side. But the other side is, is what we're seeing and what we talked about is that it is endangering whistleblowers. It enables people to hide behind the police force, criminalize uh, whistleblowing, and to have the police now investigating it as if it is a crime. And it will cause, I believe, in many ways, a step backward in fight against corruption as well. If this is going to be used to threaten people directly or indirectly, not to say their opinion, on also not to whistleblow, then that is a huge blow to democracy. The police force and any law enforcement agent under the law is entitled to get the information of such person if the right of few individuals are curtailed within, within that uh, social media. So with this respect, the suspect has been neglecting to abide by the law of orders of the law enforcement organs.